Happy New Year and welcome to the Nintendo Show, episode 15. I am your co-host, Devin Moon, and with me, as always, Trevor Payne. What up, everybody? Happy New Year. Oh boy, am I excited to be here today. We're going to do, we're doing something special because uh, there's no news again. So here we are again. So in this episode, we're going to be digging into the 2020 stuff for Nintendo. We are going to be looking at the games we know that are coming this year. And then we're going into our own predictions of what we want to happen in 2020. And then we are going to finish up with some Star Wars Rise of Skywalker talk because we, we didn't get to do it last time. And we're Star Wars fans. Huge Star Wars fans. Oh boy, yes. So we, are. And we we just got it. We got to. You know, we have a podcast. We must speak truth to the people, whatever that may be. So we're going to give a little review of that at the end <laughs> of the show. So if you're not into Star Wars or tired of people talking about it, uh, maybe stop there. But please don't, because we love you. Um, and in between all this, in between all this goodness sprinkling in those healthy doses of your questions, comments, concerns throughout the show, because you know, it's about you. We, we love you. We, we're, we appreciate the sprinkles. So we're going to, we're going to send them throughout the show. Uh, should we get into it? Are you ready? Oh, sir? let's dive in. I'm, I'm already right. on the diving board. I'm bouncing up and down, ready to go in. <laughs> Hopefully the pool is full, filled up. I got my speed already. Let's roll. So these are the games, you know, for 2020 on the Nintendo switch for January, Tokyo Mirage sessions, hashtag F E encore Trevor, your hype levels for this game are through the roof. Tell me how high you are right now. Out of 10, I would say I'm like a three. That a boy. I'm, oh. Wait, hold on a sec. What? Trevor. I'm not very excited. I know. I uh. I, I feel like I should be excited. <laughs> You're my anime boy. <laughs> Is that what they call me? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sorry, you could refer to me, Trevor, a.k.a. Anime Boy. Uh, you know, I do give me some anime, but this game, I don't know. Like, I did miss it. So this is a remake of the Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE whatever uh, that was came out on the Wii U um, that I don't think very many people played. I Now, I did hear, I heard good things. I heard it was a pretty cool RPG. Um, it's weird. Like, it's like modern day and... Um, the combat is like singing, like you're a pop star or something. Yeah. I, do you know? No, yeah, no, not really. But I, I do know that. Okay, this I know looks you're, weird. You, you're in a pop, you're, you're doing pop music and you're fighting with pop music and it's got the personas. Well, it's the guys that did persona with the mix of uh, Final Fantasy, kind of a, or not Final Fantasy, uh, Fire, Fire Emblem. Emblem. Yeah. I got FF mixed with my FEs. Uh, yeah. I, uh, not for me, not for me. I might give this a go. Like, this seems like it would be in my wheelhouse, but I, I, I guess there's really not many other games coming out in January. So this one might be my game for that month. I don't know. We'll have to see. Or maybe I'll just dive into my backlog. Yeah, it's kind of, I'll probably be backlogging it. I have plenty to do. Uh, but this game never interests me on the Wii U. Uh, it just wasn't and it's just never been my thing. Although, dude, I love Persona games. I love Persona 5. So if there's like that kind of mix in there, maybe with... And I do love Fire... I mean, these are two things I like. It's just the pop music and the stuff like that. The uh, the Korean-Japanese pop scene. Yeah, it's not really my scene. But it might be good. It might be interesting. You know, sometimes I like a little bit of music in my stuff. So that's fine with me. So we'll see. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so that's it for January. Like you said, we're kind of, that's a, <laughs> that's a slow one. When we go through these months, like we really only have up to May with things that are, well, not even May, April of things that are announced. Yeah. So these are going to be like the things that are confirmed. We know are coming out. The thing is every week there's games that come out for the switch right now. Not a lot of hot ones, but I bet you that we have a direct here in the next couple of weeks and they announce something cool that will come out towards the end of January or even the day of the direct or whatever it is. Uh, so, you know, there, there will be other games. I'm pretty confident we're going to see other games besides what we're going to be going over here. But as far as solid rock hard <laughs> information, <laughs> this is what we got. Yeah. These are the rock hard abs we have right now. These are the beauties. This is, this is our, this is our two pack. We're expecting a six pack in the future, given some exercise and we'll see what happens. That direct hopefully is what it is. That's a, that's a dumb analogy. Come on, Nintendo, you go. gotta flex. <laughs> flex, bro. <laughs> do you, do you even flex? February, February, we got Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. Uh, this, 
was a weird game on to see. It, it was on a random direct. Yeah, this... Very strange, random indie. I know. So you like Dark Crystal? I've seen some of it. Enjoyed it, but like I the game, yeah. the game. It's it's strange. It's weird. It's like a Final Fantasy Tactics turn-based strategy. You know, you might actually like this, Mister Fire Emblem Boy. I might. Yeah, I might. I just I'm I'm getting into I'm you know I'm getting into tactics now. It's like a new thing for me. So it's it's a uh, oh gotcha. It might like it. It's just like Dark Crystal. I feel like this should have been made years ago, like in the eighties. Well, maybe? I just don't know why this <laughs> didn't come out. <laughs> I don't know why this didn't come out alongside the TV show. Like, why was it so delayed? Yeah. Also strange. Also strange. It seems like, yeah, it seems like that would have been a good time. You missed your opportunity a couple times there, Dark Crystal. So we'll see what happens. Uh, another one that's a, a kind of a, an interesting thing. Darksiders Genesis. This looks like it might be good. I know you're a Darksiders guy. You try to put it in the yeah, game of the decades. I did, and it got quickly, quickly taken out. Whoa, uh, whoa. Someone was real harsh on it. Uh, no, Darksiders, so I like Darksiders a lot. This looks really good and actually got pretty good reviews across the board. Um, I think it was getting eights and nines as far as uh, through the different outlets out there. And it looks cool. It, they say it's it's almost like the perspective of a Diablo game and you can play co-op. So two people. And but the thing is, is the combat isn't like a Diablo game. It's more combo based. It actually feels like a real Darksiders game, I guess. And you're going through fighting stuff. All it is is a Darksiders game with a different isometric kind of view, pulled out view, looking down kind of Diablo. Um, I want to give it a go. This seems really neat. I think the Switch would be a great place to play this game. Yeah, I think any of these kind of Diablo likes are really good on the Switch. So I am interested in it. I feel like um, kind of missing a few, like you're going to miss a few of that like Zelda-esque things with this, obviously, in the new genre choice. Yes. But I think... I think it'll still be good. Like, obviously, it's, at least I, I, in my head, I was thinking eight. So obviously it, it, it succeeded to <laughs> what I wanted it to be. So that's fine. That works. Well, I'll definitely be playing this one uh, come February and I will, I will return and report. Give us a review, my friend. We need to start reviewing. You things. got it. Yeah. We need to start reviewing things. That's we right. Do. Yeah. What are we doing with our lives? I don't know. We're doing this wrong. <laughs> we, de- we definitely are. <laughs> definitely are. February continues on with the Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. Uh, Mega Man, you're you're the man for the Mega Man. What do you what do you feel on what is Mega your temperature? Man! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Was that enough temperature? Mega Man. That is. <laughs> is that by Bobby? Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so the so Mega Man Zero. Those games uh, came out on the Game Boy Advance. And I th- maybe there's a DS one. I can't remember. There's been so many. They are really good games. Like, so you play as the Mega Man character Zero. You have a dope lightsaber that you can slash things. Um, it was pretty story heavy, too, if I remember right, where a lot of the Mega Man games were a little bit more chilled out on that story uh, stuff. So this this seems cool. I, I want those games on the Switch. I would really enjoy a collection. I love that Capcom is putting together these really cool collections of old games and bringing them to, on modern systems so we can play with them. They usually add a bunch of cool uh, stuff like like a like a library of music and artwork and uh, all the stuff that you can look at as well. So it should be a pretty cool collection. Yeah, I I again, not my thing. There's a lot of things that aren't my thing, apparently. But Mega Man, uh, I've tried. I'm just a wuss. I'm a weak man. I'm very weak and sad, and I can't play it. It's too hard for me, Trev. I can't do it. I'm too. It's too hard. It's, it's cool. It's too hard. Not everybody can hang. You know. No, what I mean? no, I, I just can't. Dude, I can't hang. I can't. Uh, I've tried. <laughs> this will be another one I'll definitely play. So I'll I'll let y'all know. No, yeah, the collection stuff though. Love the, like I love that the Capcom's getting on this crowd. That's pretty cool. Uh, Persona Five Scramble. Here's a game that no one wanted. What is this? Everyone at the time was like, dude, Persona 5, it's coming to the Switch. It's coming to the freaking oh, Switch. What, that's what this is. Remember? And that's then what it, this is. Then everyone's like, it's called Persona 5S, dude. It's coming to the Switch because S means Switch. For Switch. For Switch, brah. No, nah, dude. It's Scramble. It sucks. It means you better scramble and not play this game. Get out of here. It might be good. I know people love that Dinosaur no. Warrior style. 
such a rough but break. isn't it get isn't it getting like a little bit like just kind of Bleh. Because, nah, like, dude. think about it. Like, there's the Zelda <laughs> one, there's the Fire Emblem, there's like a thousand Dynasty Warriors, there's a Dragon Age one, now this. I just feel like they're just putting a new skin on each one of these games. Now, I know that with each one, they added a little things that make it feel like they're supposed to be a part of that universe. Like, I played the Fire Emblem one, and there was little moments that were kind of cool where you can, like, direct other party members, you know, to different parts of the map. And it's like, yeah. and there's cool story moments, but. I man, these games. I feel like they need to really do something special to get me to want to pay money to play these things. I mean, it's six. It's worth every sixty dollars, pennies, per, pennies earned. It's it's good. It's good. You're missing out. Just kidding. I don't really care for it that much either. But <laughs> I know people that do. I, uh, I know people that do. They're like uh, they love these things. That's why there's like twenty million of them and several who? different name genres. them. Because I don't think they're real. I need I need proof. <laughs> S- Sawyer? <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> really? Oh, listen, dude. they like that stuff. Really? Listen, okay. Yeah. Interesting. No, I can't. I, teach know, their own. It is what it is. Uh, that's it for February. Yay! Yay! February. The best, yeah. Okay. March. This is a big one. This is a big one. Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Here it comes. Mm. That that could be the only game that launches March, and I am completely content that is going to be so freaking exciting Devin, is this another one of those things that you're not into or are you going to get yeah, this game yeah yeah it is actually oh, i dude, really, really dude yeah every time listen i want to love it every time i buy it on the ds i'm like dude i'm into it this time i'm going for it i got new leave <laughs> i'm ready i bought it i was going and then i realized i do not like this game what am i doing I'm fishing. I'm, You're doing I'm, chores. I'm, I'm doing chores. This isn't Pulling fun. Pulling weeds. This isn't fun. This is they, they oh, don't. Man. They it don't even so the fun. mechanics to me. Even like of the of the chores you're doing isn't fun. It's just it's just not enjoyable to me. Dude, it's so charming and cute. I, it is. It is. I agree. I like. I love how charming it is. I I like the art style. This one actually does interest me. New Horizons looks a little different to me because you're kind of building town more it looks like like you're you're setting up in an island and then you kind of build be a little from bit that. more involved with that yeah a little sure. more involved so i'm down for like town builder stuff like that you know i'm into the sims stuff like that but i definitely i don't think we'll be a town pe- town builder i think there'll be like light elements yeah i yeah. don't know i there's something about like getting to know the other little characters in your town or village or whatever and visiting them, saying hi, bringing them gifts. They give you crap. You work on your home. You got, you got to owe a bunch of money to Tom Nook. He's all ransacking you, trying to take all your bells. Man, it's good times. And there's like a whole stock market thing. Oh, man, dude. Oof. Oh, man. Love those stocks. Stock I'll market. tell you what. Good I just, times. I can't. Even in real life, I just look at the stock market all the time. Trev, this game's boring. No. It's it's not <laughs> boring. It's so good, dude. It's it's boring. It's boring to me. I'm sorry, but I, I like I said, I I got it. I the one of my get one of my predictions for the future uh, was that I'm going to buy this game, and then I'm going to soon find out that I don't like it again. But I could be <laughs> you wrong. Think you're going to go and fall I, back into that <laughs> trap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fall back right in again. Just because I love the art style, I love I love the look. I lo- I want to be a fan, so I'm going to try again. Just like I've done to Pokemon, I'm going back in. I'm diving back in. Okay, dive in with me, buddy. You can come visit my village. We could share. We could trade peaches and apples and turnips. Oh man, can you feel the excitement? Oh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think this is going to be a fantastic. Well, this is like one of the big games for Nintendo this upcoming year. So I I think it's going to do real well. It's I'm. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an amazing game. I'm excited. I will. I, I wanted to be March already. Please be March. Yeah. No, seriously, I'm really excited for everyone else. I'm down for you guys to clown. And I I know I shouldn't even have the show for hating so much on that game. But man, I do. Dude, do, you're good. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. And dude, it's going to sell like crazy. This probably will be one of the best selling games this year, uh, depending on what comes out, depending if we see a Mario or not. April. Trials of Mana. This is a remake? Yes? Yes. Yes? I Honestly, I don't really know. I don't know either. I think it might be. Trials of Mana. It is. Or, I'm pretty yeah, sure this a, is going to be a sure remake. HD? You looking it up? All right. Hey, yeah. if we're wrong, 
You can yeah. email us. <laughs> <laughs> so we can figure it out. Yeah, uh, just email us. I'm pretty sure this was a game before. It looks prettier. It looks cool. If you entered the Trials games, go grab it. Yes. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons, also an April yes. game. From, the, from Xbox comes another Minecraft game. This one actually looks really cool. Another dungeon crawler. Another one that's like Diablo. Yeah, it, this is going to be cool. a Diablo game in the Minecraft world. There should be a story involved. You'll have up to four player co-ops. So you can go around, get loot, fight creatures, do a bunch of good stuff. I wonder what they'll add as far as like to make it a Minecrafty type game like are you going to be doing some crafting in it are you gonna so we'll see there this this is the funny thing is this is the most anticipated game for my kids this coming year they won't stop they won't stop talking about it they're so excited but i think that's because they know we can play co-op we can play four player uh and it should be really fun because i love diablo games they're great but they can be a little gruesome and gory especially for kids so to have kind of a Minecraft skin and skin over it. I'm cool with it. Um, we will definitely be playing that at our house. So, Yeah, it looks really cool. Like, I like what they're doing. I do hope they, like you said, they add those elements of Minecraft in it in some way. Yeah, I, I hope to, they give it, you know, to make it unique, not seem like it's a Diablo ripoff. Exactly, because I feel like we do get a lot of those kind of games. So I, I wish that we I have hope, lately, yeah. Yeah, I hope that they kind of do a little twist, which I think they could easily. So we'll see what happens, but... Dude, yeah, that's it. Uh, made of December, no dates, no dates for 2020. But here are the games without dates. Uh, Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal. Oh, good, gorgeous. This game looks amazing. I want this game. Looks pretty this neat. This is like the first one that I've actually said I want. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, finally, uh, Devin's into the hardcore. I gotta slice your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> just dude, heavy metal and just, yeah. just rocking oh. out. Yeah, dude. Well, do you think so? That game comes out what in the spring on the other consoles? Uh, yeah. Is it? Or do you did know? It end up, did it end up in March? I think. It I think it's March, March. Oh no, it's the exact same day as Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, yeah. Very that's similar right. games. So <laughs> very similar. <laughs> so do you think? Do you think we're gonna get a switch? port of that at the same time or do you think it'll be later in the year that was the rumor at first oh not the rumor that's what they told us they were going to do is do it at the same time but then uh later they announced that it won't be at the same time or they Ah, didn't give us a specific date so we're going to probably get it a couple months later hopefully not a year later that would suck uh but yeah well yeah i'll play it on a different platform (laughs) yeah uh (laughs) if you like that gray muddy look like i do go in there baby vaseline it up Devin, do not ever tell me to Vaseline it up. I'm good. No, thank you, good sir. When it comes to doom, you better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. People love this game. People like yeah, the Crystal Chronicles. People do. It's, it's a weird one, isn't it? There's like it's, it's like a three player, four player thing. Well, it's like it's a four player, and it, I can't remember exactly. I remember it came out on I think GameCube, and it was so you'd play on the same console, and you had this dumb bucket or something that had like a crystal <laughs> in it that you had to like walk around <laughs> with, and because like that crystal would protect you from monsters or something. I could totally be speaking out of my butt right now, but this is what I remember this game. And one person had to carry the bucket always. And I hated that. I was like, dude, how lame. And there's no fun mechanic. It was just like, yo, you're the bucket holder. So which of our friends do we hate the most? You hold the bucket. What's up with the bucket? What is the bucket, Trev? What I, is, is the is bucket? Is it a bucket? I don't know. It's a crystal. Oh, is it a crystal? So it's like Lord of the Rings. Someone has to be Frodo. <laughs> But, but yet, yeah, Frodo can at least go invisible and stuff. Yeah, it's true. He has a cool power. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people love this game. I don't know how I feel about it. And if they're just remastering it, it'll be the same game, just look prettier. So good for those people. Yeah, it's a weird. It's a it's a weird mechanic. That is weird. Making mechanic where you literally you're not supposed to have fun. Here's a mechanic for you. Hold the bucket. <laughs> weird. Oh, you know what? 
Yeah. Very. This is a strand game. This is like a Death Stranding game. Oh, you're right. You're right. You gotta take take the package from one place to another. Make the delivery. Uh, it's not fun at all. It. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Suck it, Sony. We did it. PlayStation sucks. Suck it, bro. Anyways. <laughs> ah, the original Death Stranding. We were all so blind then. Uh, Axiom Verge 2, dude. Axiom Verge 2 is next. Yes. People love Axiom Verge. I haven't played it yet, but this is like one of the golden ponies. It's one of the one of the first Metroidvanias that came with the indies. And uh yeah, it looks good. It looks like more Axiom Verge. It looks, you got that wild, creepy pixel art. Looks good. I mean, it's not going to be a bad game, but I they, can tell you that man, much. Man, the art looks so cool. I, but this one seems a little bit like the style is a little bit more vibrant, more colorful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With the trailer that they showed. It, it it does look really cool. I'm excited to dive into it. I played Axiom Verge, enjoyed it. I did not beat that game. Um, but what I remember playing of it, it was a really neat game. The way that they, some of the weapons, very Metroid inspired, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, give me another. Give me another one of these. I feel like we get a new Metroid-esque game yep. all the yep. freaking time all lately. All the time. Yep. Just just pile them on. Pile them on. Uh, so we'll see what, how that does. Because like you said, I feel like we're being soaked. We're being drenched with a whole bunch of Metroidvania. I almost but feel like almost too much, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I as mu- I remember there was a time, Devin, there was a time when there was no Metroid style games coming out. And I was just be like, please, someone put one out. And then now it's just like a de- deluge of just it's an avalanche of these games. And I'm feeling a little worn out a little bit, to be honest, as much as that, that's one of my favorite styles of games. I'm I'm ready for them to maybe <laughs> Put a pause on them. Give give them a little bit of time to breathe or do something really unique. So we'll we'll see. It should still be a good game. Yeah, I feel like I'm being waterboarded. A little too much. A little yeah. too much. It's like <laughs> I like water, but let let me take little sips at a time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your metros are going up my nose. <laughs> Serious. Give us the all, all we really want is the real Metroid. Yeah, just give us an actual <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> but Nintendo, uh, they give us little Little glimpses and pieces, remakes, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brave, <laughs> Bravely Default too. So we saw this at the Game Awards. We talked about it last uh, week. Yeah, or you whenever were really we impressed. That. I was highly impressed by the visual style. <laughs> I thought to myself, "Yes, this is a 3DS game." Boy, I love this style. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I I know some people think it's cute and chibi, and I think to myself, "No, it's just bad." It's just bad graphics. There are it's, chibi. It's bad you, know, lazy. you know what's chibi and cute and good? Wind Waker. Yeah, that's chibi. And that looks good. And that has an art style that looks nice. Uh, Bravely Default. No, nah, it just looks like someone didn't try. Uh, copy paste and send her on over. So, I think it's, I like it. <laughs> I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm excited about this game. I love the other two. Bravely games i guess part of the bravely verse um yeah they're great games fantastic rpgs these are actually put up by square enix i believe too so you know they they know what they're doing when it comes to them them turn-based games yeah like it looks like i'm down for the game series i've always wanted to try bravely i think it's just i wish they did something else but maybe that's what makes it bravely default if they had a whole different thing they might be like whoa 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 what a, is this final fantasy it freaks people final out fantasy I'm watching? Yeah, everybody would just lose their mind they just lose their brains that's not my bravely that's not my where's my cheebs where's my cheebies <laughs> give me my chibi legs no the, it should be cool i'm excited i will definitely be playing it um but i can get where like the, the art style is it looks cool but I feel like it looks a little dated and I feel like that art style was designed for the 3DS because it had a very limited amount of power and whatnot. So, I mean, yeah. it would be cool if they, you know, give it some umph. At least, I mean, if you're going to keep the character models that way, that's fine. Maybe just like improve the environments. Like I know we haven't seen much yet as far as like real gameplay. I think we saw the one shot with the characters over a hill, which happens a lot. Do something with the environments that I'm like, okay, this is why it's on the switch or this is why it's next gen rather than just kind of, you know, that kind of pixelated flat grass that you see for miles that's been on the 64 for 20, whenever that came out, what, 25 years ago. Uh, enough of that cross cross code, Co- cross code was cross code. 
Have you heard of CrossCode? Do you know what CrossCode is? CrossCode. Yes. Yes. yes? CrossCode. Okay. I've heard me up. beautiful things. So it is um, a, a single player MMORPG. Oh. Does that describe it? No, what it is. So it's kind of more that old school style art, uh, like SNES style action RPG. And I guess you are playing a character that is playing an MMO. Oh, and so oh you yes, yes, log yes. into I've an MMO this. and play yes. your character. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I've heard the story is fantastic and has some cool twists and some cool stuff going on. And the gameplay is really fun. And they do a really good job with that uh, idea of being in an MMO without with actually being in real life in a single player game, but making it have a lot of the same tropes and the fills. And I, I want to give this a go. It's on Game Pass. So I've been wanting to play it because I already have it. I could download it and play it on PC, but I've been holding out for the Switch version because this game just seems so fit for the Switch. So I, I think I'm still going to hold off and wait. Uh, I don't know. I, I wish I knew more detail about it, but this game is up there with one of the games I absolutely am looking forward to this year. Yeah. Uh, it, from what I've heard, it does sound really interesting to me. Apparently really good. Hundreds of hours. I, I'm i down. Like I'm down for a little MMO-like kind of game. Yeah. It sounds like a cool idea. So I'm let's do it, man. Uh Hollow Knight Silk Song. I know this game very well. Hollow Knight, I've played 30 hours of, didn't finish it, loved it though. Silk Song looks like a prettier version of the other one. And you get to play uh with some fun bug needle characters and probably do the similar thing as the other <laughs> Hollow Knight game. Similar stuff. It it does look cool. And this originally was supposed to be just like an expansion or like DLC, but they kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it to the point where the developers like, yeah, this is just a whole new game. So they are putting this out. And uh, I don't know. I'd still really want to dive into the other game a little bit more. So, yeah, it's amazing to me how much it's just how many ideas this dude has or this like group of people. It's like, man, that game is so long. It's a it's a Metroidvania that's like easily maybe 50 hours or so and like silk song i'm sure is probably pretty expansive if they just kept building on it so again I, in my opinion one of the better ones of these metroidvanias for sure so maybe check that one out lego star wars the skywalker saga i assume such as the si skywalker saga we're getting all the new ones too right the sequels yep so we're gonna get this is gonna be all the games that came out prior and then Everything all the way through Rise of the Skywalker. So it should cover the whole nine. Did they do Lego games for the other movies, though? That's what I'm... I they swear. did a Force Awakens one. That was it, right? That was really good. Mm -hmm. But that's all. So this next one will then include the uh, Last Jedi and uh, the and most Rise. recent movie. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, I swear there wasn't a Last Jedi one or a Rise. So that's cool. So <laughs> everyone loves Lego Star Wars. Y'all know what it's about. So it's cool that they're giving a little bit of extra. And that is going to be a big game because just like the, the old ones, that was big enough. So if you're into that game, man, you know what you're getting. You a big fan of Lego Star Wars and Lego games, Trevor? No. Yes, I, f I used to be. And I feel like after you, they all kind of are very samesy but we did play through as a family the force awakens one and it was really good and really clever so we'll absolutely be getting this um i think you know gameplay is real simple it's nothing complex um definitely good for kids family so i think that's the reason why we'll pick it up if it were just me i don't know if i would spend the money on it but um yeah i it, it seems cool yeah, and Force Awakens was cool because they kind of had like the gearsified it at least in parts. Like the shooting was like behind the back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, that's right. They had these like cover shooting moments. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Oh, that was pretty good actually. Okay. Yeah, I felt I felt the same about Lego games though. Like Star Wars was it for me because it was my favorite one, but it's also like one of the first ones. So after that, you're like, yeah, repetitive times. Pill Pillars of Eternity two, Dead Fire, yeah. expansion. Yeah, expansion. No, this is so this is the number two. Um, it should should be cool. I've heard really good things about it on other platforms, and it definitely is in the art style of a game that could totally run on the Switch and not have any problems. Rogue Company, Trev. Again, I've seen this dude, name. What dude. is this? I've seen this name, but uh, I do they not announced know what it, it is. at a direct 
it's um i think it's it's like a online multiplayer shooter game i think it's almost like a hero shooter if i remember right like each character has different abilities a lot of melee combat um i can't it's going to be free to play though too so i can't i'm pretty sure it's going to be free to play yeah i oh, can i might be just my, you might speaking. be speaking yeah because in my head i thought it was a military <laughs> shooter but it also was just online only i could be crazy I don't know. You can look it up. You know, I think this is one I'm going to hurry and look up Rogue Company. Uh, yeah. So we looked up mm. Rogue Company, Trev. Explain it to the world. Rogue Company. Okay. You are a person and you fight other people and you do it online. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's made by the same people that made the other Overwatch wannabe type game, whatever it was called. Pit- oh, and I think they did Smite, maybe? I don't know. Or Man, I keep wanna, saying a bunch or, of things. Or, or the Smite wannabe. It's either Smite yeah, or, or the, the Smite, Smite wannabe. wannabe. <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, the studio is High High Res Studios. So whoever that is, yes. <laughs> I don't know. We know oh, so you know what? Here's, here's oh, the... Oh, okay. This is yep. what the company is saying. Okay. Rogue Company is a team-based multiplayer shooter packed with action, tactics, and attitude. Oh, attitude. That's I it. I love my games with that. Oh, so, I it. mean, does that okay. explain it? That sure does. Yeah, it sounds way fun. Don't don't play it. Don't play it. You heard it here. (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) Rune Factory 4 Special Edition, I assume. Uh, What in the world? (laughs) This is another game we don't know I don't know. It's a 3DS game. It's a 3DS. So have you ever played Rune Factory? I've seen it. I don't think. It's like Stardew Valley or the other one. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. It has runes, factories. It's the fourth one. It's special. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This one actually interests me. This one makes me a little bit excited. I, I've i always wanted to play the Wii one. Uh, interestingly enough, that game's like $80 on the Wii. Uh, hey, the Wii for, one. The Wii one. Yay, 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 yay. On the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that console's <laughs> name was weird. Uh, oh, yeah. It was so stupid. <laughs> It was one of the last games to be on the Wii. It had an amazing RPG elements, super epic world, but the faces apparently were ugly and it was an ugly looking game at parts. And we got to remember it wasn't HD during that time. It was all SD. It was like on the little four by threes. It was a weird time. Uh, so it's interesting to see it here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of what they do to it. They, they're they calling it the definitive edition. So I wonder what they're adding to it. Like, are they going to be reworking a lot of the art it's definitely doesn't sound like it's a remaster or a remake or anything i guess it's more remaster than remake yeah um but i don't know i I think it'd be cool i i remember playing a little bit of that and enjoying that game so i don't know we'll we'll just kind of have to see what they do maybe they'll show more in a direct as far as what they are doing to this game yeah i would like to see yeah what they're what they're bringing to the table that's a little more interesting obviously the visuals are there but yeah i bet there's things that they well, maybe they like Zelda fix some things that were too long, but it's a it's a it's a Japanese RPG, so maybe not because that's part of the gameplay. That's part yeah. of the that's part of the fun. Uh, so that's it. That's all we know for 2020. Uh, well, actually, no. There, hold on. There is one other that we do know, but it's not a 2020 game. Maybe Breath of the Wild Two is out there in the ether, right? That's right. Somewhere. We don't know when that game's coming out, but that's out there. Uh, we obviously are excited about that. Very, very, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so that's one. Uh, another one that's just floating in the Abyss, Metro Prime 4. I doubt we'll see it. Uh, Bayonetta 3. I sure hope we do. You but think I, so? I think you're right. Uh, no, I hope we do. I doubt we will, though. Maybe next year in 2021. I think we might see it. Uh, but yeah, it's too soon. Uh, Bayonetta three. I assume we'll see it this year. Uh, just be, it's been a couple of years since it was announced at the Game Awards, so I assume that will yeah, be. Yeah, they've they've been working on it for a little bit, and it seems like Platinum can make a game pretty pretty quick. So yeah, they're cranking them out, and it's weird to me that it's actually not been shown yet. So it makes me wonder if there's something. Right bigger going on with this game that they have bigger plans for it? I'm not sure. Or it's going bad. It's or they're the having development issues too. Like it could be that. Maybe they can't seem to figure out what they want to do with it. So we'll, we'll have to kind of hopefully we'll get some news at least this year to find out what's happening with some some Bayonetta. 
Yeah, Overwatch 2 uh, kind of showed a trailer to that. It's on the Switch. I think it's coming day and date. I uh, don't know when, though. And obviously, it's more Overwatch. It looks good. Uh, I'm interested in the campaign stuff, but it's more of the same in a lot of the, in a lot of ways. There are, there's new modes and stuff, but they just want your money. And Pikmin 4. Uh, we don't know where this is. We just know Miyamoto said something years ago that it was done. So, <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, what is going on? It with makes it? you wonder. Just it hanging makes out. you wonder. Yeah, it's just chilling. I think he's fibbing. I mean, it is. Do- yeah, I think I think he's fibbing too. No offense, me, Amano. I we named the news after you, but um, <laughs> why are you lying? You know what I'm saying? Why are you lying? I don't know. He can lie to me all he wants. His smile could just lie for a room. I God, love that a, man. He's a cute boy. Uh, just you just <laughs> smile all day. Okay, uh, let's get into one fan question real quick, Trev. Remember, listeners, you can write in your questions and concerns to us at podcast and nintendoshow.com. Or you can go to our Facebook group page at facebook.com dash groups, the Nintendo Show. Like VV85 asks, what is the game you guys are looking forward to the most this year? Non-Nintendo, Trev. Non-Nintendo. Ooh, What's the one? Non-Nintendo? Non-Nintendo. Oh, man. Cy- it's either cyberpunk cyberpunk seems real crazy cool done by the same witcher devs so i that game looks pretty rad and then honestly i th- i and i'm hoping i'm hoping it's this year i am looking forward to halo infinite yes i also am looking forward to halo infinite and i do i assume it's this year i hope it's this year you would think uh, with the new xbox like that would be a way to you know launch a new console so we'll I see i think that's what they said they were going to do although i've heard some rumors that maybe there's something going on that's not great there but we'll see uh as far as that that dude that's like my number one because i i from the trailers i'm like they might be going back to old halo one which kind of makes me excited. Dude, but what makes it infinite? Like, what are they, like, if people are rumoring that it's like a Destiny online shooter type thing where you're getting gear and loot. And I don't know how I feel about that. Like, sometimes I, I think that would be really fun and in that universe. But I'm like, I feel with them putting the word infinite, like there's something, I think it's going to be more of a service style yes. game where it's ongoing constantly evolving and changing that's my impression of kind of what that naming stands for but i will have to see but anything halo i i really really want to sink my teeth into it so how about you dev oh the the uh the samurai one yeah ghost of tsushima ghost of tsushima (laughs) say it again gosh dude Sushimi? Yeah, Ghost of Sushimi. No, just, just yeah. Sushima. <laughs> no, dude, that game, yeah, Sushima. I know what I was saying. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, dude, that game looks so good. Like visuals, there's like little, little, there's like little uh, leaves flowing everywhere. It looks, it's perfect. And it seriously, like, it has this like moodiness to it that looks real neat and like very like samurai where it's like, hey, one, all you need is one one hit with the sword one cut and very like i don't know it just seems seems real cool i hope it ends up playing out that way um kind of bummed out it's on playstation i wish it was on pc as well but um yeah but it's all right i'll bust out the playstation for it yeah i think it's gonna be good sucker punch is the guys who did it which i don't like their games all the way they're good, but they're so that's my only worry. They made infamous games, the open right? world one that was in Washington. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so they're good, but they're just kind of repetitive. So I hope this one just is just kind of. Yeah. Wow. This is going to be a very, very different style or even like at yeah, least art style game. of game. Um, Last of Us 2, dude. Oh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. That is this year. This is in, it's in April, right? And when that game comes out? Yeah, I think so. So PlayStation's having a banger uh, ending this bad boy off with PS4. So I'm excited. So those are, those are a few of my faves. Trev, 
Let's get into our predictions for 2020, man. 2020, 2020, 2020. Mm. Ooh, I, I heard a really good joke real quick. So I was at work and a guy, so here's my 2020 joke. Okay. You ready for this? Okay. okay. Yep, when it's, uh, it's already past New Year's, but pretend this is like New Year's Eve. All right. Hey, make sure going into the new year, you, you lift up your left foot. Do you know why, Devin? Why? So you could start the new year on the right foot. Yeah, he did it. That random guy did it. <laughs> did it. He did it. Oh my gosh. But you know what? I was proud of him because he committed to it. He was so bold and like, just like, he was ready to tell me this joke. And I, I, it made me laugh. I was like, that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. We got to start the new year off on the right foot. You know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I do stand up on the weekends. This it is sure the kind of stuff you'll get from me. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you what, I go to every <laughs> show. I laughing in the background. Just it's loving just every Devin. moment. It's just, just me <laughs> chuckling. Let's get into this predictions of 2020. Mine and then yours, and, and then we'll and then we'll just trade off. Yeah, we'll just kind of rotate back and forth. Let's do it. Yeah, my first one. One Wii U port will come in the early part of this year. It's going to be announced during. It's going to be announced during the direct, which is going to happen in January. I know some people are thinking February. It's going to happen in January. Okay. And the and you know what game it's going to be porting? Uh, Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World. That's the one okay. that's going to be porting. It's one of the few they haven't done yet, so it yeah. makes sense. So that's the one that I'm thinking that they're going to do first. It's going to take that nice little Mario spot it did uh, from the, the new Mario Bros that came in last year. Taking that spot, easy breezy, some Mario money, you know what I'm saying? And it's a better Mario game. So go out and grab that if you haven't played it on the Wii U. Because it's coming. It's coming, y'all. I know it's a prediction, but it's it, coming. It has to. I think that's a it, that, like I think that's a pretty solid prediction too. Cause it that game, the fact that they've ported almost every other Wii U game to virtually make the Wii U non-existent in the history of Nintendo. Um <laughs> they they might as well bring this one over, and this one's a good one. Like I think they're trying to like sweep the Trevor, Wii U under the rug, be like, yeah, we never we never had that thing. Dude, you're totally right. They're washing away their sins right now. Dude, we can't have this. We can't allow. We can't allow this. We need to have them realize that the Wii U was a failure. Yeah, so yeah, come on, come on. They're watching. They're rewriting stuff. the history books. They're rewriting it. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. We see you, Nintendo. We see you, uh, Trev. Uh, what do you got? All man? right, mine. Mine is we will see the Master Chief Collection come to Switch. Oh, that's kind of Halo yeah. mixed with another thing. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good. Um, it so Nintendo and Microsoft are all buddy buddy these days. I think we are going to see that Master Chief Collection. Obviously, it'll not look as good, but I feel like they can do it. I think people would want it, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna see some some form of Master Chief, uh, Halo, something coming to the Switch. I think you're right. I think. I, I, this is what I want in my deepest soul. This is actually what I really want is just to see Halo on my Switch. Just come on over, Microsoft. Just finish it. Like you guys are just, you guys are barely pecking each other's lips. I want a full makeout session. I need Whoa. this now. <laughs> I need this now. Dude, dude, I, this was one of my predictions. I really want it to happen. I totally, I'm down for that. So, yes. Another one for me Splatoon 3 will be released as a summer game. Splatoon oh, 3. Interesting. Why? Okay. Because Splatoon 2 has been out for a while. Also, Splatoon 2 is starting to uh, stop doing their things. Splatfest is over. Yep. All the things are starting to go down. So why, good sir, do I ask, is this happening? I tell you, because Splatoon 3 is coming. What is it going to add? Probably not much. More, more mm -hmm. paint rollers. <laughs> more rollers. Although there's I, thousands. I don't of know them. what else they could do to that game. There's like I, I felt like Splatoon two kind of I think did everything I think that thing can do. I I, I want to be wrong because I love Splatoon, but um, I I like I want more more to the game because it was like multiplayer and it had like a single player element to it. But the single player stuff was. In my opinion, it wasn't super great. Um, I, I would like to know more about that world. Make it a turn-based RPG. Sure. Yeah. Bring the rabbits in it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Let's mix the, it up. It'll be rabbits cross <laughs> Splatoon. <laughs> they both speak gibberish. Uh, 
Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do, (laughs) but it's, I'm sure they'll do it because they've made a lot of money from Splatoon. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. That was a good one. I I think you're right. Uh, I think I, well, this is what I want to see. I don't think we'll see it, but I want Mega Man 12. So we had Mega Man 11, uh, I believe last year. It was an awesome game. Super cool. I like to see them announce the next one. And, uh, you know, I could, like I said, I can never get, get enough Mega Mans. Dude, Capcom's firing on all engines, and it's very possible Man. that you might get that. You might get that. You know what I'm saying? Dude, they we got Resi- Capcom we got has Resident made Evil. a turnaround. Yeah, we got Resident Evil 3 coming, dude. It's possible. I mean, it's possible. It's totally possible. It, it'll happen. It might not happen this year. It just might year, not though. happen this year. Yeah. Gotcha, dude. I, I feel you. Uh, Mario Kart 9. Where you been? Where you been, sweet, sweet? Dude, they don't need um, to make another one because the other one still sells. I know. That's depressing. Guys, stop buying that game. It is six years old. You guys, there should be another Mario Kart by now. Right? Six years? I know. That's a they're long really, time. I re- they're, it's that's about time, time for a new one. Uh, I, I hope you're right, Devin. I hope we get a, a new Mario Kart. And I hope they do something real weird with it. I want them, I want them to get real strange. I think it'd be dude, what if they do yes, or maybe they like do uh, a little more open worldy l- stuff like uh, Diddy Kong. Or what if they make Forza Horizon, but you you got to deck out your <laughs> your sweet cart, put uh-huh. some neon glow underneath, and you're just like crazy cruising around some part of the world that they pick. Oh, I guess they could do the the Mario Kingdom, and uh-huh. you're just cruising uh-huh. around, and you roll up next to someone, you're like, "Dude, let's go!" And you beep your horn, and then you get, you start racing. See, I know you started off as a joke, but it kind of ended as like the best idea ever. It kind of ended as I was like, "This would actually be really cool." Hold on, he's <laughs> saying good things now. Like at the beginning, I was like, "No, he's just joking with me," and then I was like, "No, he's no, right." I was. He's right. And do they, I, they won't, but, they won't. uh, I think it'd be cool. Another Mario Kart would be fantastic. I mean, you've had six years. You could have made two open world games by now. Um, so let's, let's get that out. I think that will come out in September. And the reason I think it's going to come out is it's such a high seller. We got to We got to take out that Xbox and that PlayStation before it gets too crazy. Mm. You know, that's a good prediction. Yeah. They're, they're going to be like, Hey, I know these other these big boys. They got them consoles. They got the they got the teraflops, and uh, over here we got the the Mario Karts. But have you seen Mario Kart? And he kills people because uh, he's racing cops. And yeah, that's right. Need for Speed. <laughs> he has Mario. to outrun the. Oh, it's a crossover with Need for Speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was lame. Next. <laughs> yeah, I'm on board. Okay, mine is going to be Nintendo 64 collection. Just like we have like uh, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo uh, collections that you can play with your online subscription, I think we're going to get the Nintendo 64 uh, collection and we'll get a handful of games. I could see that. I think it's next year, yep. but I could see it. I could see it. I, I could it. totally see it coming. I think it's going to be this year. I think that Nintendo is going to have to pull out some some big guns rolling into it. Well, because like, seriously, you have a new Xbox, a new PlayStation. These other systems are like worlds apart as far as power and performance. Like they, they're going to have to really come like to convince people to spend the money with them as opposed to going somewhere else. So I, th- I think we'll see another big game that hasn't been announced yet. I think we're going to see them really trying. Dude, you're totally right. Like the, you, that's a good point. Cause when you say you got Mario 64 and Ocarina of time on your little handheld, a lot of people yeah. will be freaking for that crap. So it's yeah. people, it hits that nostalgia bone. It does, dude. It does. I'm, I'm already excited right now. Uh, my next one, the switch pro will be announced and it'll be more, it will be more powerful, but oh, I, I thought the pro would have been weaker, <laughs> but it's still going to disappoint my us, <laughs> but it's still oh. going to disappoint us. But it's still disappointing. How yeah, many this, flops are we looking at, dude? Uh, we're looking at uh, we're looking at no flops. Uh, we're looking at me. Ma- oh, sorry, sorry. We're looking at a one point two flop. Is that the Xbox One? We're looking at that kind of. Flop. Uh, it's like one point something. Yeah. Uh, the the Switch is a one flop system, so it's oh, going to get like okay, a we're gonna boost, two upgrade. Yeah, yeah. No, I could see that actually. That's, that's Sweet. down. Yeah. That's down that sounds Nintendo, about right. That's down Nintendo's alley. Uh, no, I really want it to be better. 
The Switch has proven to me that Nintendo does care a little bit about making things a little spec heavy because it's a nice handheld. It's a very nice handheld. Just the past Nintendo, they didn't care. They didn't care. Yeah. So we might just get like a six, like a one point six flop. But dude, if 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 it's a if it's in the six flops, if it's an Xbox dude, One, that, X, there's no way. Trevor, no, never, no, yeah, totally it right. won't happen. <laughs> yeah, like that's just not unless we want it to be like five inches thick. And I, I would love a Switch Pro though. Yeah, b- bigger screen, bigger screen. OLED, OLED. Uh, you're getting the crystal clearness. Uh, what else could they do? Better, so high resolution then. So at least 1080 uh, portable because right now it's well, right now it's only 720. Like so, I mean that would be a step up. 4K up better res, battery. maybe. Yeah, better so, battery okay, life this should is, be better. I think we will get some I think it'll say it'll they'll say it'll be 4K compatible. And by this I mean the new the new um Tegra, whatever the oh crap, what are they? The NVIDIA Shields. So they came out with an NVIDIA Shield at the end of last year and to replace the current shield, which was running the same chipset as the Switch. And this new chipset, it's a very a variant of the, the Tegra one that's in the Switch. But in this Shield Pro, it's cool because it has this artificial intelligence that does this really neat upscaling. So on my 4K TV, I could be watching something in 1080. And when I hit the little upscale button, and you can see it real-time change, it'll up-res and it takes, it uses this artificial intelligence to figure out what it should put in each pixel to make it look sharper. And it genuinely makes things look so good. So a lot of my content that I have is in 1080p, and when I hit the button and you see it happen instantaneous, it looks so much better. It's really cool. So I could totally see them using that technology to up-res 1080p uh, yeah, video feed and upscale it and make it look really cool. So I, I could totally see them saying, hey, it's a 4K machine. It's not real native 4K, but I think they could use that NVIDIA upscaling uh, technology. Dude. Yeah, they would. that'd be cool. Uh, so I, I do see that. Again, not expecting much, but will I buy it? Oh, t- did I tell you that I bought the Switch Lite? Yes. And I will buy this as yes. well. I, and and will no I tell you there. that I bought the Switch Pro? Yes. Uh, I, I do want a Switch Pro. I think that would be cool. I want something with more power because, again, we have new systems coming out. We have a huge, like, just... It's a big gap, it's, dude. A, it's the gap, it's a gap, man. And so we're definitely got, not getting any uh, ports of current new games. I think we're going to keep getting more older ports and... Uh, eventually, I uh, maybe it will be the Switch 2 where it's something more powerful that can at least keep up a little bit. But we'll have to see. I don't, it'll it'll be interesting. So, all right, Trev, yours, man. What's next? Okay. Uh, next one, we are going to see that Metroid game that came out on the 3DS a couple years ago. It's called Metroid Samus Returns, uh, and it's going to be a remaster, so it'll be all looking a little bit more pretty. It's going to come out this year. We were talking about how we wanted a Metroid. They're going to give us a Metroid, but it won't be a new one, but at least we'll have a Metroid. Okay, okay. I, I see you with that as well. I think it might be based on Super Metroid and a totally different game. Ooh, that'd be or, cool. Oh, or you think that they'll, they'll like remake an, remakes, an a different old game? Remake Super Metroid, yes. Or ah. do a whole different or thing. Or one of the GBA games. Yeah, yeah, like Fusion or something else. Uh, yeah. But yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think a different remake, possibly. But I would like just a new game just because I feel like messing with that art style. Oh, me too. Messing with that art style, dude. That's going to be a little rough because mm-hmm. it might be that 3D, but, 2D crap, which doesn't always look yeah, good. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. Sometimes it's nice. Maybe Sometimes they can do it. Nice. Come on, they Nintendo. Might be able to do it. We can yeah, do it. Just give us a new, brand new, brand new side scroller Metroid. Mm. You use that Octop- Octopath Traveler engine, man, on that. It would look so cool. Um, <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Uh, an- another one. Uh, do you do? Do you do? That's the Halo one. I think we will finally get an OS overhaul with themes and folders as a possibility. Ooh, finally. good one. Finally. It's, it's I, weird. Yes. To, it's, it's weird. G- to give me us that folders. Why not? Yeah. Where's my folders and where's the themes, man? It's so weird to me that like. Yeah, because right now we have white and black. 
Yeah, 3DS like has tons of themes, bro. It's like crazy. Oh, themes. the themes are out of control on that system. I know, and I would love to see some cool themes come to uh, the Switch. It, 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 I don't see why we haven't yet. I thought that with the new Switch Lite and the colors and things like that, that we'd see even at least a couple other color variants as far as the <laughs> themes go. But yeah. we haven't seen anything, and I really yeah. want them to switch it up. And I think an overhaul would be so smart. Um, yeah, because I love the interface. I like how simple it is. Yeah, me too. But I, f- I feel like it needs a few extra little bells and whistles. Yep, a little tweaking here and there, especially like store mm. stuff. A lot of people have problems A little tweaking with that. So and twerking. Let's twerk, let's twerk it. Uh, what else, Trent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so we are going to see. I don't want this to happen, but you, you mark it today. Right, the it. day of our Lord, January the 5th. <laughs> 2020 uh (laughs) pokemon diamond and pearl remaster and now every time they do a remake and uh pull like one of these they add like a weird word in front of like the actual pokemon game so like it's diamond and pearl it's going to be dazzling diamond and pretty pearl yeah (laughs) (laughs) true like, it just has like a redneck on the front. <laughs> Purdy. That's a birdie pearl. Dude, I uh, I love the names. I love the names. I can't help. But I want to buy them now. I'm going to get Purdy per- yeah, Pearl. Uh, well, dude. Who wouldn't get Purdy Pearl? <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. Can I yeah, pre-order a Purdy Pearl, please? You're totally right. There's going to be another Pokemon game of some sort, and I think it probably is that. Uh, most likely. And well, my this own- is the... Yeah, this is what they do. Yeah, they take is, you know uh, every other year and do a remake, and then an actual mainline game. And uh, this year, I think we're gonna get a remake of Diamond and Pearl because we have not seen those yet. Those were yeah. originally released on the DS. Okay, so yeah, I could see that. The only other thing I can see is like enhancing the version that we have now is the only thing that I could see that they up the Pokemon sure. and Ooh, the version and maybe add some yeah. Other things. Because they do that, they Wait, do that too. What's the current one? Sword, shield, Sword and shields. bow staff. Yeah, they'll have a third. Yeah, exactly. Good they'll old bow staff. They'll have a third. It'll be like the emerald. Yeah, yeah. so we'll have Pokemon bow staff, <laughs> and then it just has like <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite or something on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the weapon Love they it. choose um, for sure. Uh, Bayonetta three will be released in the summer. I, I'm pretty sure it's coming out this okay. year, uh, unless really there is that would make some, sense. unless there's some developer hell kind of stuff going on. But sure. I doubt it. So that's one of mine. I'm interested in Bayonetta three. Cool. I like the first two. We'll see what happens. Other yeah. ones, yeah. Um, I would say uh, we are going to see Game Pass, so Microsoft's or Xbox Game Pass on Nintendo Switch, and yeah. that will come out this year, where it'll be an app on the Switch. You click into it and you will have access to your Game Pass games through Microsoft. And this will benefit the Switch because people will buy their console to play the cool new games that are going to come out in Game Pass that will be available on the big old crazy Xbox Series X console. But you Mm -hmm. can play it streaming on your Switch if you want. And then Mm -hmm. uh, it'll get people to sign up for Nintendo's online as well. So I think we'll see the Game Pass app on Switch. The only the only way I could see, uh, well, as far as third party stuff goes, Nintendo working in the new era is with something like this, with them partnering partnering yeah. with someone like Xbox to get those games through a total streaming service. Yes, it's going to suck for mm-hmm. those that don't have the internet, like myself. But uh, it, well, I do have the internet, poor internet. Uh, but <laughs> how are you doing um, this? Might as well not be internet. Uh, yeah, dude, I could see that totally happen. That's what I can. And what I would love is for the Switch Pro to have internet in it so we can go yes. out and play our games <laughs> okay. on the internet. Phone, nice. Just internet. On, on the internet. On the internet. That would be great. Because we don't have to I, focus on the Wi-Fi. I would like that. That would be, yeah. be great. Yeah. yeah. I would be on board. Um, I, I think Game Pass, I genuinely, I know this sounds kind of pie in the sky, but I think, No. I know this is going to happen. Microsoft and Nintendo are so buddy-buddy. I think this would benefit both of them, and it'll help them fight against uh, PlayStation. I really think that this this is a, a major possibility. Yeah, I, I agree. I think this is... I mean, for Xbox, it's about money these days, and that's the way. That's the way to get it. Uh, here's another one. Sure. Yacht Club, the guys who made Shovel Knight, finally stopped making Shovel Knight, and we see their new game. <laughs> 
I don't know what it is. I would I love know, that. But I want, a, whatever they're going to make next, it'll yep. be great. I'm sure. It's just not Shovel Knight. Okay. That's all I know. Support that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got else? one left. Okay. One left. Um, with it's kind of a piggyback on your OS overhaul. Mm-hmm. I think Nintendo. <laughs> I doubt this will happen. I think yeah. Nintendo will be like, you know, we were real dumb about that chat stuff. We we done we done messed up, everybody. And you can go ahead and do your uh, party and chats and everything through the console itself, and not through a dumb app on your phone. Interesting. Yeah, that would be good, huh, Nintendo? <laughs> Won't happen. <laughs> oh, it sure would be nice if they would just say like, "Yeah, our bad. That that was really stupid." Oh wow, but they dumb, don't huh? seem to know how to <laughs> do that. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> that was a real bad thing. The other thing that really we pisses me off. You're a bad boy. I love do. I love the Switch Pro uh, controller, the Pro controller, uh, dude. No headphone is, jack. Yeah, where's the headphone jack? Where's the headphone jack? Come on, y'all. That's I want to play my game right? in silence. Yes, it is unbust. You're caught. Yeah, that con- that controller. I love the feel of it more than the other ones. In my opinion, it fits my hands. Oh the yeah, best. it's really good. Yeah, and no jack really. P- knocks it down a peg come on guys get a jack on that thing yeah um, that well weird. and it just didn't make sense and then to have chat just integrated into the system just makes sense because you're playing on it so when you group up with people and play a game uh might as well be able to chat right there like that just seems so weird yeah. to have this whole third party app thing so yeah they're weird get your they're stuff tr- together nintendo yeah. They're trying to they're trying to save the kids' ears, but the kids' ears have they've they've seen their share. Dude, they've uh, heard worse. They've heard worse. Come on. Uh, although there are some crazy <laughs> Mario Kart people out there, so watch out. Um, the last one for me. <laughs> Ubisoft will team up with Nintendo to create Star Fox, a new Star Fox game, uh, or something. Yes, I want it to be Star Fox. However, I think it will be more Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Whatever. I just feel oh, like Ubisoft honestly, has... Honestly, either one of those would be just fine. Yeah, both are good. I just like... I want to see Star Fox rejuvenated in a good way. Like, I think... I really yeah. do think Ubisoft and Nintendo have created a nice little relationship here. So I'd like to see what what they could give them that's new. It could be even even like an F-Zero game. I feel like Ubisoft could do good sure. with these ones that aren't like the heavy hitters like a Mario and Zelda, but still pretty dang good. So... Yeah, man. Well, dude, like for instance, like they made that Starlink game and they had that whole Star Fox, you know, s- exclusive stuff on Switch. And that game was surprisingly pretty fun. Like they did a really good job. So I could, it, I could totally see them taking what they learned from that game and just make a full on Star Fox game. That would be yeah, awesome. For sure. Here's a few, two cool. others that I thought of randomly. Well, not randomly. One of them Ooh. I missed. Super Mario Odyssey 2 will be announced for this November. It's the, it's the wow. big guy. Odyssey 2, because that I feel like, they're, I feel like they're going to galaxy it. They should have given us DLC. They didn't. I think it's because they were making they a new game. It. They had too many ideas. Those they didn't greedy. want DLC. Greedy, greedy buggers. Dude, I think it'll be good. It might be pitch, Peach related because of how Odyssey ended. Uh, Peach goes on her own travels, okay. so it might be Peach related. Uh, the other thing I think, well, we need to talk about is where's Breath of the Wild 2? Whoa. Where's Breath of the Wild 2, my friend? Is it here in 2020 or is it going to be in 21? What is your what are your thoughts? Twenty one. Twenty one. My gut okay. tells me twenty one. We're gonna find out about it. I think E three will yeah. see some really cool announcements. They'll dive in a little bit more in depth with the game and show some of the features. They'll show that it'll have co op. That's that's kind of my okay. my feeling there. Yeah. One of you can play as Link. One of you can play as Zelda. Zelda. That's uh, good I think that they're gonna give us some pretty cool stuff. Like I think that would be awesome. Uh, but I think they'll announce it E three, but we do not see it until next year. I think that's. Yep, I think you're right. And I think they're going to go harder into the wild aspects so you can build your own huts. Mm-hmm. You can make your own kind of world, like make build things more, kind of interact with the world in that way. Uh, I hope that they do have some of the classic Zelda uh, dungeons. We'll see what happens with that. But I really think that we're. they might even say that's going to come in 2020. But honestly, I'm thinking March 21 just the same kind of zone that uh, Breath cool. of the Wild yeah, ended up last time. I could time. totally see that. Yeah. So that's it. That's our predictions. We good with that? We feeling yeah, right about there that? There they are. Next year we'll revisit these. We'll see kind of what, we, uh, what we totally botched and <laughs> maybe hopefully we got some of these right. Yep. Someone score this for us. Someone like write these Next year we come find, come find out like Sega buys <laughs> Nintendo or something. Yeah. Yep. They- <laughs> 
<laughs> come with a Genesis just, Switch. Yep. Oh, came from there behind. <laughs> they always had it planned. They had it planned from the beginning, since the 90s. They knew what they were doing. Good for Man, you, I Sega. can't wait to own a, a Sega Snitch. A Sega Snitch. Oh, and they snitched it, bro. Yeah, They well, snitched it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man, man. Awesome. okay lefty sam ask there's a rumor that red dead redemption 2 is coming to the switch do you think that this is possible and what would you wa- or would and would you want it now trevor you hated Red dead redemption 2 you said so as much in your last <laughs> uh review of uh whatever the crap that was um what do you think do you want this <laughs> the game of the generation or whatever yeah, or decade or whatever decade. Yeah. um Sure, why not? Like, I, I want it for you, Devin. That's why I want it. Thanks, man. I'm I want not playing it so this you game can again. have it. <laughs> I'm not playing this again. Okay. It was 70 hours. I've done I, my time. I'm good. <laughs> it was good, but yeah, it's way I'm too good. long. And visually, I think it's way out of Switch's ballpark. The Witcher 3 yeah, is... Yeah, pr- this game Witch- is not yeah. coming. The Witcher 3 is pretty, y'all, but Red Dead Redemption 2 is a lot prettier. Like, animation-wise, it's way yeah, better. Yeah, like- uh, everything like things are the whole world is physics based dude the whole well, and world the whole world is like this like living like like people Organism. are like remember you and yeah. like it's just it's crazy i i don't yeah. think this is coming the only way i think it comes to switch is if this is a launch uh exclusive on the switch pro or whatever yeah uh something like that where like hey we have this or through xbox game pass you can stream it or whatever i don't know yeah. i just don't see this game running on the switch and i don't know if we'd want it to like I, yeah do we want it to be so visually like degraded De- yeah that it's weird. you don't no. get to really enjoy that i don't know yeah and that so I, me, I, I, I i i'm gonna say no and no <laughs> yeah no and no i also think for me why not go to gta 5 which was already a 360 game people have bought that thing a million yes. times they're gonna buy it again uh, especially if it's handheld it's so weird to me that's not out yep. on the switch yet i could see gta yeah because that out seems very year. feasible very do feasible. I want it? No. No, I'm not going to buy it. I can but totally see it. Someone will love it. Yeah. yeah, someone will love it. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that is that. Sorry, Trev? sorry, Lefty Sam. Yeah, sorry, Lefty Sam, man, dude, I love that game. It's just not. It's just not. It's not happening. Okay, that's all the Nintendo stuff. Star Wars stuff, which I don't know why you want it. Come on. We're going to get into some Star Wars review, Star Wars impressions, thoughts. Trev, Oof. Scott, Rise of Skywalker came out, man, while we were on our little break. Yes, it break. did. How did on you? On our breaky how, break. Dude, how do you feel? I, so I, I have so many thoughts. And honestly, like as earlier today when we we're like, hey, let's maybe talk a little about this film. Um I started going back and thinking about my time with this movie and I have a very mixed emotions, a lot of mixed thoughts, uh, really highs, some lows that I thought were kind of lame. But overall, like I I know, I don't know what it is. Like there's so much hate on this movie uh, on social media and different things like that. It's ridiculous that there's that much hate. Like I, I, I think this movie was a really good movie. I wouldn't say it was the best or a fan like a phenomenal Star Wars film. I thought it was re- it was good. There was some really fun fanfare moments throughout this movie. Um, I don't I don't know. I, I feel mixed. I feel like I need to go watch it again. Yeah. So I saw it twice. Did you watch oh, it twice shoot. or okay. once? Good. You're the one. No, I'm I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna go okay. back again. But so I saw it twice. The second time was better because I knew where it was going. Uh, that happens yeah. a lot for these movies. I like this movie. I, I think it's an entertaining movie. Like no one could say it's not entertaining. And like when you're in it, you're like, yeah, yeah I'm loving this. Like I really love this movie. But after when, like when it's all said and done, then I then it's when I start having those mixed feelings that I'm like, yeah, oh, where I might like be, I might be one of those poking holes and things. Yeah, and- yeah. But it's kind of like, yeah. isn't Star? In my opinion, Star Wars hasn't been like perfect, perfect for, well, I don't know, 
since like even for a the, long time. Yeah, for a long time. I even mean, the like, originals. You, I even the originals. Say are perfect. No, you can like poke. You can poke holes in a lot of the crap they've done throughout the series. So it's just kind of sad that Star Wars has become so unfun to like talk about now it's kind of like depressing really it's almost like politics like you bring it up and people just really hate <laughs> last jedi or they love rise of skywalker and it's like you're either democrat or republican on this it's like there's one side <laughs> or there's so the other weird, side it's right? insane it's like listen dudes oh. i like last jedi and i like this movie just fine like they're both good but they both have problems last jedi shouldn't have gone to that weird Canto yeah, the casino bite. planet. And, yeah, dude, I totally yeah. agree. I totally get it. But some Last Jedi has some of the highest highs too, right? You know, and mm-hmm. same with and same with this movie. It's like, yeah, there's some super highs, and then there's moments where I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how it fits the whole thing. So, should we get into some? Sure. Of, should we go to spoilers a little let's, bit? Let's dive. Let's dive into let's a little bit of spoilers. So, okay, uh, a couple things. Some highlights for me. Like, I. Okay. Oh man, so I love the character kylo ren not not necessarily like all the acting and he sound he's kind of like a whiny little boy yeah. in a lot of it yeah. i like it the the look of him i like uh, like i see potential in that character yes and i thought it was really cool that he came around there was that whole thing of becoming good i other people might feel the other way but i loved that he you know turned around and helped Ray in the end. And I I thought that was really cool. I felt like there was a really good moment with him and his, you know, thought Han Solo dad that he has talking to himself or whatever. That moment's a tear. That was cool. That was a good moment. Yeah. It's a good moment. Because, you know, you know where he came from and it's like, man, why why did you drop the ball so much? You're like, what the heck, dude? And I thought that was really cool. Like when he throws his lightsaber in the ocean, you're just like, oh shoot, this is sweet. Okay. Yeah. He's coming back. He's He's coming coming back. back. Yeah. Um, the other uh, highlight that I, I liked that there were some twists. I enjoyed that. Um, Abrams actually threw some twists in there. The whole Ray being uh, a Palpatine, so Palpatine's yeah. granddaughter. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, yeah. Honestly, okay, I got a quick little story. Yeah. We're sitting in the theater. I have my whole family. I got my boys, my wife. We're watching the movie. The theater's packed, a lot of energy. Everybody's stoked and excited. Okay. Yeah. Aiden, so my boy Aiden, one of the twins, he, he literally stood up and he put his hands on his head like he's like just like in shock. And he when he found out that Ray was uh, the emperor's granddaughter and he was just like just shaking his hand like head like, oh, my gosh, what is happening? And it was like that moment for me made that so incredible because he genuinely was just shocked. He was like, oh, my gosh. And he his mind was blown. And it was I, for me, I was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. I was kind of to yeah. be expected, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so cool to see my kids so into it that I'm like, I love this movie. Just for yeah. that moment alone, he, no, like, Aiden yeah. had his Star Wars movie. And I remember having those as a kid, and that just made me so happy. I thought that was incredible. Yeah. You, you know, you bring a, it's a good point. Like, every generation has their Star Wars movie, and just seeing, like, those reactions from kids that, you know, grew up with this stuff. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Go mm-hmm. for it. That's so cool. It's cool to see that. Yeah. yeah. Both of my kids were like, that was the best Star Wars movie. And I was like, well, I agree to disagree, but that is awesome. You know, like they yeah. were, they were just so I amped love- about it. And there were like incredible lightsaber fights and there were, there were so, like just visually stunning moments that I thought yeah. were just great. It's so a very I think fast. it had that going for it at least. Yeah. A very fast Star Wars movie. Oh, Probably the fast. Almost too just fast. Straight action, dude. Yeah. Almost too fast. But Star Wars is like a- one planet to another. Zip, yeah. zip, zip, zip. And I was just like, Ooh, what? I'm like, this is <laughs> moving way too fast. <laughs> I know Star Wars fans probably yeah don't like the speed, but I I think some people like that are just kind of whatever about Star Wars probably have a problem with like the slow like the pacing is a little slow sometimes. There's like moments where you're like yeah, it is we've yeah. been here for a bit. It's a little more plotty. Yeah, we're gonna uh, talk we're Galactic Empire politics for a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're gonna uh, roll around in a field uh, oh. with weird cows and oh. pretend we're in love. God, those are the moments. Those are the moments we live for. Uh, yes, yeah, dude. As I do love, I love the fact that we saw Harrison Ford. That was a big crazy, like especially since he hates yeah. being Han Solo so much. I was like, oh yeah, he's <laughs> here. That's cool. Bring him back That's again. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so that yeah. was cool to see. I think Kylo Ren and Ray are probably some of the best Star Wars characters, like realized Star Wars. Yeah, characters. they were really cool. 
Their arcs are really nice throughout this trilogy. I think their arcs are really good. Mm -hmm. I like how it ends for both of them. Uh, I think Palpatine is really cool. Like, unless I don't like love that he's in the movie, (laughs) but I, but he's like, like the style that they went with the whole Sith world, uh, the look of the throne room, the look of him on that giant robot arm. Yeah. And he's like freaky. dude. He's what I wish the emperor was. And, the uh, prequels and the he originals. Was, he, well, or even, the prequels. Okay, yeah, the prequels. Because I feel like when he got shocked to death, he kind of was dumb looking. He just had a big head. Yeah, like he it, was. He just looked like a dumb. He was button. just a nasty old man. Yeah, nasty big head guy. Like he didn't look like what I thought the emperor looked like <laughs> in the older movies. And this one, I think, kind of sure. played on that a little better and looks more like my emperor. Uh, and dude, he, the guy acting it, man, he did a great job. Anyway, so those I like the scenes oh, with him. He did great. Yeah. Uh, what else? What about uh, like so? For instance, like with uh, Force Awakens, there was the whole like. Oh shoot! Who who Snoke? I want this yeah. whole story of who this guy is, and there has yeah. to be more. And yeah. then he just gets killed way quick in in the last movie. But then in this one, like you find out what he is, and it's there's really no explanation. It's more of you. The camera pans into the scene where the Emperor is, and you see bunch of clones of yeah. Snoke, like but like their creations, right? Yeah, yeah. I like I like what they did. Like I knew I realized maybe that Ryan Johnson like screwed the like screwed up JJ's vision. <laughs> Le- it really, I it's think not so the direct. It's not the director's faults because I think if JJ did his own trilogy, it would be awesome. I think, I think we if Ryan Johnson more, and I think if Ryan Johnson did his own trilogy, it would be awesome. I think they're just totally different totally different ideas and i think either well, one yeah, would have it done doesn't great. make i think i don't know why they had to pass the movies to different directors like they did yeah. like it just seems so like like it, you're asking for the story to be jarring and and weird and not coherent like yeah i, I why not just give it all to jj let him do his thing tell his story because then he can tell the full story he's planning on not have it mixed up halfway through and then have to recover like that just seems so weird to me yeah and i think the problem really is disney never had it's really disney fault it's just they didn't come up with the overarch yeah screw you although i love your stuff thank you disney plus and mandalorian yes yeah, um <laughs> the overarching arc like the arc itself wasn't there like they lucas say what you will of that man he had in his brain somewhere an idea of where things would go. I realized that yeah. the first, the first old trilogy, maybe not so much, but he probably had some inklings in his brain. Hey, this is where it's going. It's like, it was a single man's thought throughout. Yeah. And yes, right, there not- were some moments, there were some moments that sucked, but dude, oh, of you, course, of it course. was, it was a coherent vision and that's where this, movie but he had a isn't. story that he was yes. telling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I my agree. problem here is that there's no coherent vision. Uh, I, I personally liked where it was going with Ryan Johnson. I rather have had the movie not about Palpatine yeah. at all. And would it have just liked to see the bad guy be, uh, Kylo Ren and that's it. And Kylo Ren in the third movie was would be destroying everything. Everything Jedi, everything right. Sith, all things. He would destroy all things. And we as fans of Star Wars would be like, he's killing everything Star Wars. What's killed this mofo? You know, that's a big enough yeah. threat for me. They don't have to bring it back, Palpatine. I love seeing Palpatine. I loved the movie. But when you bring it back, well, here's a question from Padawan123. Uh, do you guys think that the sequel series ruins Anakin Skywalker's story arc throughout the first six films, making him no longer the chosen one who would bring balance to the Force? Uh, what do you think, Trev, on that one, man? Do you think it Ooh, ruins Anakin um, Skywalker? Darth Vader. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I don't really understand what this this question so is the, about like the, ruining his story arc like yeah well in the original so i think what he's saying is in the original uh three films well the new th- oh my gosh this is ho- so hard prequel movies <laughs> in the prequel movies uh they so one through three yeah they brought up the fact that this boy is supposed to be the, the chosen, chosen one. one who will bring balance to the force right by the end of episode six, when he throws, uh, what's his name? Uh, Emperor Palpatine down Denver. the freaking yeah. Down the thing. Uh, that's him fulfilling his destiny of bringing balance to the force as the chosen one. At least that's what sure. I think that he's getting at. 
when at least bring, with that when, mindset because like there's different ways to think about it yeah like seriously that could. could be it like he brought balance to the force like bringing down the emperor uh-huh. or bringing balance to the force as far as saying hey the jedi have become too much they've become too powerful ah. they've been come mm. too mixed into politics that he was the chosen one but maybe from a different uh perspective as far as taking out the jedi and kind of changing the 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 balance a little bit there so yeah. maybe that's, that's what that meant maybe the other thing because they're because they're always talking about hey you know it's like a scale it's gonna even itself out and or or maybe he was the chosen one and he just done messed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the you things know, I, like yeah. I, <laughs> one of the things I'd like about so, that I don't idea, know. It's, though, it's interesting. Yeah. One of the things I like about that idea though, is, is he brings balance to the force by even out the Jedi. Like there's way too many Jedi and mm-hmm. not enough Sith. And then he does it again by when the emperor is totally wasted to all the Jedi. So in the end, sure. he brings balance to the force in both dark and in light. And that, and in that's almost eliminating Jedi and, and Sith, Sith. In, a, yeah, in a sense. Yeah, in a sense. And yeah, I do see that, yes, like bringing Palpatine back kind of lessens the um, the impact of Vader throwing him down the thing in the first place because then you're like, <laughs> nah, he's yeah. good. Homeboy's good. He's just, he's dead, <laughs> but he's alive yeah. through the force or something. Uh, anyways, yeah, I could see that. Anyways, my only problems, I guess, with the movie... I think it's entertaining. I think I love it. I think I think there was too many fake deaths. Uh, not enough, yeah. like too not enough, um, like stresses in my like whatever it's called. Too much. There's not enough stress. Like, oh, uh, freaking Chewbacca's dead. Nah, dude. Two seconds later, he's cool. Yeah. We're never gonna see <laughs> three. Yeah, we're never gonna see three PO again. Oh man, this sucks. No, nah, RT2 oh. will fix him up. We're cool. RT2 had his backup. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Apparently, he yeah, did have a. Apparently, his backup is actually that good. Although we just said it wasn't. Uh, I know. The the other problem that just bugged me is that in the very end of the movie, I l- I like I like it. I just feel like there's only one fix I would do, is that when when uh. She's holding the double lightsabers and he's shocking. I don't know why you're doing this again, Palpatine. You know what happened last time. You were about to die mm-hmm. last time. You could stop at any moment. It's it's up to you now. Just let go of the electricity. Uh, anyways, when that moment happens, he, she doesn't look like she's in pain at all. I've watched yeah, it twice. Right? She looks totally cool. She looks totally fine, man. She has the power of the Jedi with her. It's all gravy. <laughs> we're good. I'm all the Jedi, right? Let's do this thing. She looks yeah. totally fine. And then she falls to the ground and you're like, oh, she's, she's dead. She's There's dead. Like, I guess she's dead. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. She's dead. And then out of the pit comes, you know, Kylo to do his thing. And I get it. You can't have the bad guy stay alive because he's killed too many people. It's just what you got to do in writing. Right. So he comes in he comes and gives them the smooch of life. Uh, gives the little uses the, <laughs> the uses, smooch of life. <laughs> uses the force, you know, and he seems totally He's cool. the force smooch. Yeah, well, and here's the thing: they they mention healing for the first time, right? We've known it in video games a lot. Yeah, but you get the healing going. He's doing the healing thing, and you're like, okay, she's done this several times. She didn't get hurt at all. Right. He's just it's all gravy. Right. It's just healing. But and but the thing you got to remember though is, is the, it looked like Ray died. And, yes. So he's giving and her all whole the other life. things that she healed. Yeah. Yeah, we're alive. So he's giving his whole life. I get that. But it doesn't look like it's hurting him. He's totally gravy. I know. It's, it's everything's true. fine. He's and like, then they have the opportunity to kiss. Like they have a moment. <laughs> There's like at least a at least a minute where they're like looking in each other's eyes, kiss. I'm down for that. I wanted that relationship to happen. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he dies. And you're like, Boom. hold on. He looked yeah. he was fine too. <laughs> My I know it was my, it was kind of interesting. It's, just, it's jarring. That's all. But uh, all they would have to do is just is, show very... just show her that she's getting hurt, which makes totally sense. Total sense. Emperor rocks. Yeah, dude. Homeboy's homeboy's an evil Sith. I get it. Show that he's di- that she's getting hurt, and then show that he is also getting hurt, and then uh, that's all you would have to change. And it wouldn't be so jarring. It's just this whole tr- this whole trilogy. When when Luke died, I was also a little confused. When uh, mm-hmm. when Leia died in this one, also a little confused. Uh, all of them, every single death, I was like, 
they're just they're just dying. Why why are they dying? <laughs> They're just fading. Stop it. Stop dying. Like, really show me why you're dying. Yeah. Like, it, I know it's like a nitpicky thing, but it really was jarring in the movie when I was watching. Other than that, I sure, enjoy I it. I totally get that. I think it's good. I think one, oh, the last thing is when you end the movie, you think, well, nothing happened. The emperor, his big yeah. plan, his big plan was I come back alive for one movie. It was thwarted. Yep. Do the, do the same thing as the other one. And I lose again. Kind of. Yeah. So it's the same movie. Yeah. Uh, it, that's it my, was, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, I know it sounds like I hate I'm it more. I'm with you, than I do. And I know it makes it sound like I hate it more because I do like it. Like, I love a lot of parts of it. I love the scenery and, like, the set pieces and, like, the characters we get to meet are really cool and their outfits and all that stuff. And the new aliens are awesome. And it's all, it's all Star Wars that I love. It's just when you think about it, you're just like... Okay. It just leaves you that empty feeling at the end, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> so. I, I'm totally with you. I, for me, it was, I, I, I still feel if yeah, I'm going to go back, I want to watch it again. Do it, man. Um, but I, I, I think for me seeing my kids so into it, I think made me look at that movie a little bit better than I would have if I just went with me and my friends. It, it, it just put this like special feeling in my heart. My kids are super into Star Wars and thinks this movie, it's part of their lives. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't know. I, no, dude, I, that's I cool. love it. I really enjoyed it. It was yeah. a great story. But I think that it's nice that they put a bow on the whole, what they're calling the Skywalker saga. Yeah. Let's now move to something else. Let's let's, move let's get away from the Skywalker stuff. Yeah. Let's go back to the old Republic where there's tons of Jedi, tons of Sith. Let's get into that. Or let's get into these weird side story stuff like they're yeah. doing with Mandalorian. And, you know, I, I, I really... I love the Star Wars universe, but I'm Me glad too. that they okay. Skywalker's done. Okay, yeah, let's get away yeah. from it. I'm totally down with it. And honestly, I do. I the highs in this trilogy, I think, are some of the best highs in all of Star Wars. So, like, I sure. really, I really dig it. Like, I love this freaking movie. I love the movies. I just, yeah, I just like I said, I think it's just being tied down to the Skywalkers has kind of hurt it. And Disney not having a full plan. Also heard it. So I'm glad they're taking a little break, letting us have our TV shows, you know, doing that kind of slowly uh, eking it out. We'll get some Obi-Wan here soon. Uh, so it'll be interesting <laughs> to see where we go. Uh, but yeah, oh, man. Absolutely. I Overall, what's graded, man? Let's give this a final grade. What would you give it? From what you, from Ooh, I would one give it, viewing. I would give it one viewing without a ton of preparation. I'd say an eight. An eight. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that. Yeah, also, yeah I'm going to stay with a solid eight. It's, it's an entertaining movie. Obviously, I'm sure you've all seen it because if you haven't, I don't know what mm -hmm. you're doing. And yeah, man, <laughs> it's so good. And if you guys have anything that you're like, shut up, Devin, you're totally wrong. And you spoke for an hour and did a monologue. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> we want to hear from you guys. Hear, yeah, yeah, share your let, thoughts. Yeah, let us know what you're thinking about it. I totally, I'm totally down with conversation. Just be, just be civil, be nice. It ain't that crazy. It's a good movie. Uh, so <laughs> yes, that's it, it, man. That's it for the Nintendo show. You would think it would be the Star Wars show, but it's the Nintendo show. Uh, if you have any, again, questions, comments, concerns, you want to mention your stuff on Star Wars, anything like that, go to our Facebook group, go to podcast and Nintendo show.com. We'll read your questions on the show. Like we've done uh, every episode and really thank you for listening to us all of last year. That was you know, we just started last year. It was really cool to start this off. I'm excited to go in this new year. We're trying to, you know, oh, grow, do new things, try to get a website, all this other new stuff, trying to really improve for you guys, uh, do better audio, all kinds of stuff. So uh, give us your feedback. Let us know what we can do to improve because we really want to make a show that you guys enjoy, especially. So uh, yeah. that's it. And man. you guys can be proud of. Yeah, seriously. And us too, <laughs> gosh darn. Us uh, too. <laughs> uh, as oh, always, awesome. though, uh, we love you very much. Bye. <laughs>